Welcome back to Red and Black TV. I'm Malty with Banana, Boz and Georgie. What's Welcome. going on, boys? What's happening? What's guys? happening? What's going okay, on? How everyone. are we? How's everyone's long weekend? Yeah, good, oh, man. good, man. Good, good. Nice good. long weekend. Good to be back on the show. Yes, good yeah, to be good. back. We're back, finally. We had a... Um, we can a bit off, uh, no, it's For me, it's been uh, obviously Ramadan for the month. So yeah. in conjunction with uh, the first round of my season as well in the straight cup, there was a bit of a clash, but we're here now. We're clash, back. fight. Clash, oh. timetable clash. Oh, I don't know. Time, clash, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Timetable clash. So uh, you break your fast at 7 o'clock. So yeah. It shows at 7.45. So it's just, it was too hard. But uh, we're coming to the end of Ramadan. I think there's... Um, How many more? Next Wednesday is Eid, bro. Next Wednesday. Yeah. Done, 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 I should done, know done, that. Bro. I should know that, but I don't know why I'm asking <laughs> the question. <laughs> but I am. Looks like I don't know. So <laughs> right, you just go, uh, go and enjoy your mum's uh, birdex, bro. That's all, man. Yeah, that's it. The lamb and the spit. That's it, bro. Uh, Yeah, we'll yeah. celebrate. Like, <laughs> like everyone, you know, no one follows anything and they celebrate when the day comes, you That's know, regardless of what you are. We're all about the celebrations. We're all right? about celebration. I'm on, the, I'm on the bandwagon when it comes to that. We got something special tonight, huh? Behind yeah, us. People have realised, hey? We've noticed, huh? We've yeah. brought them all out tonight. Dug deep. Um, Georgie's dug, dug deep into his um, closet. Into his vault. There. Into the safe. Yeah, and he's pulled out a jerseys. few. Uh, few flashback jerseys. We've had some of them, huh? Look at them. Well done, Georgie. Look at some of the names. Uh, so we have Nico, <laughs> uh, no, yeah. Nico, sorry, Nico, uh, yeah, yeah. Jumpai, uh, Bullet, the, the greatest offside goal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Karim, whether he's still here with us or he's in Goulburn, uh, I don't know. I think he's, um, watching, he's watching from Goulburn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> At the um, moment, he's Riera, cell phone. our uh, what, top goal scorer yeah. in, I think, 15, 16 from memory. <laughs> They're right, so he wasn't offside. The goal wasn't offside. For it, was it, wasn't it was offside. It was, it was, it was, it was yeah, yeah, back then. That was end of his career. <laughs> yeah, that, that was his that, highlight. Yeah, that was his highlight. And still uh, makes the bloopers around the world on YouTube does, if yeah, you watch uh, the football. Bloopers. Like you don't know whether to feel sorry for him or laugh at him because yeah. the goal was legitimate. Oh, don't yeah, worry. Half, half, half the people in the stadium yeah. didn't know it was offside. So we were just all celebrating. They called that back. That's when there was no VAR. But the best was he. They can they. Kicked on playing, he was still celebrating. celebrating yeah, that was yeah, good yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> still with us in the crowd. <laughs> it's right, nice. Well. No, I like it. It's a nice little change yeah, from um, what we usually have up there. So if it doesn't get too windy, and then it gets too windy, it gets blown yeah. away. What can do? The windy. Oh, you did say Malta before we had um the bullet one behind. It was kind of behind the pole where where George is. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looked like something. Kind of looked like a different word. All we saw was L U T with a bit before the L. And you had to guess the, <laughs> what the first word was. <laughs> you lot, I guess we slut. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Well, let's get straight into it. Then, straight bro. into the game. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> just making sure. Just making sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, he's working. He's working. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry. I drink it from George. Uh, uh, obviously, Western Sydney Wanderers three, MacArthur one. Um, nice. Obviously, m- of no surprise, it was a much, much, much needed win. Had to win it. Um, game of two halves, you would say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd probably agree with that. I'd, I, I wouldn't say the first half was entirely too, uh, one-sided. I think the first 20, first 30 was. And I think towards the end of the first half, we started getting back into it. Mm. Um, and then second half, I think, was all us. So I'd say 60, 70% of the game, I'd say we had the better chances. Would you agree, Monto? Mm, nah. Minus the first 30? Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think... Barring I, the first 30 minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Could, we could have been down 2-3-0 oh, that We first should have been yeah, down 3-0 yeah. half-time. But, but games usually look yeah. like that happens. I mean, that, that one team's pushing, 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 and then out of nowhere, the other team just put free on you. Yeah. Well, we've had that a few times happen to us. Yeah. yeah. And um, it, what I say, uh, you, you know, you score against the... Against the pl- what they, run, run of the play. play. Run of play, and yeah. that's exactly what happened. And once we scored that first goal, you could see the boys, uh, that it gave them a bit of a lift. Mm. And um, it's, and then when Kittle scored, I think the boys said, "All right, you know, we've got this in the bag," and we pushed on from there. So it was great signs. Ah, oh, fuck! It's a bit of a supporting the Wanderers is a ro- roller coaster. This, this, isn't this, club's, roller this coaster. club's an enigma, eh? You, you just, just don't know what to expect. It's like, bro, like well, I bet it against them. So it looks like that's that's the way to go. <laughs> <against them>. It's <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna get, bro, and it's. Even after a win like that, it, there's a lot of frustration involved because mm. it's like, where's that been for the last month, bro? You know what I mean? And I, I need to ask a question before we go into the game. Mm. Where do we stand, bro? Because I'll, 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 I'll tell you what I feel like. Yeah. After the City game, it was rooting out, right? Yeah. I think 95% of our fan base was rooting out. And then he comes in these last two weeks, we turned things around. 
it wor- it worked it worked well in Rudin's hands because we played that Wednesday night the Melbourne City short game, turnaround, yeah. and then they've gone the short turnaround and went to Perth, and we're all yeah. expecting we're going to get a fucking slapping yep. over there. And they've somehow come out with the win. Yep, and we've backed it up and this then week. We backed it up again this week. So, Bernardo, so my question is now, right? It's obvious the club's not releasing Rudin this year, at least. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it was going to be done, it was going to be done the morning after the City game yeah. yep. or straight after that, yep. especially when he rock up to a press conference. Now, it seems like he's he's overcome that um, that situation. Now, as fans, do we say, if he's going to stay here till the end of the season, do we back him till the end of the season? You got it, bud. You got it. You got it, Till yeah. the end of the you season, yes. Yeah. I think, I've always said, I think he got, does get... To the end of the season, and then see what, what happens from there. Um, I think based on do, last do you season, see, do you see a run in us? Well, if I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to get my hopes up. Yeah, okay. I don't. Let me let me ask you this, George, as well. Um, City just scored. Yeah, one nil. One nil. City. Yep. George, I want to ask you this because you you watch a bit of rugby as well, and I was watching a um, documentary a few years ago on Wayne Bennett, one of the greatest coaches in rugby league, and he spoke about how he plans his season where he wants to hit his peak going into the finals, right? And he, he, he says peaking too early or peaking early on in the season, usually teams are pretty, pretty drained come finals times. Now, the question is, have we hit our peak this year or is there still a, a peak that we can still achieve going into the final series? Uh, I think what we've seen from the start of the season till Monday, obviously, um, I think there is still another level that they can go to, but it's it's the issue of the uh, inconsistency question mm. that we keep on raising. Um, you know, we have a couple of good wins or, you know, even if we lose, we still look good, you know, at to a point. Um, and we back it up the next week, for example. And to, to credit the playing group in, in the manner that they've been playing the last couple of weeks... Um, I'll be credit where credit's due. Yeah, because we give him a lot of stick, bro. We come on here, even after the games, with our interactions with the players, we gave him a lot of stick up until that Perth Glory game, right? Um, You know, and uh, some of the leaders in the team copped it more than, you know, the the rest of the squad. I I know, Banana, you brought up your interaction with Borello. I know we addressed Borello after the Mariners game as well. Um, But is it, are we in a space or are we in a, a position right now where we, we give them credit, bro, for these yeah. back-to-back wins. Yep. Because to, I don't think it would be to. fair. I don't think it would be fair uh, when we when we give them slack yep. uh, for not performing. But when they do, we don't we don't oh, is, we don't acknowledge it. No, I, this is my issue. Yeah. yeah. Now you look at last two games. We won in Macarthur or Campbelltown, which we've never done. First and time. And we won in Perth for the first time in ten years. So on those two games, you like. Credit to the boys. Yeah. The two games before, we lost 7-0, our worst loss in history, and lost against team coming last 3-1. Mm. Now, if you look at our wins, and credit to credit to the boys and credit to Rudin, how they've responded to that 7-0 loss. That Perth game, we were a bit lucky. Perth hit the post how many times? Yep. And this game against MacArthur, we were lucky in that we weren't two or three down at half time. But in saying that, they've got the results that we needed. Yep. Three we're, points we're, at the moment ex- is what we need. That, and, and, and we're doing that. Yeah. But I'm not sitting here and saying we're back. Yeah. Because for me, this game, especially against MacArthur, we had max 40 minutes. We were the better team. Yeah. But for the whole first half and for the first five minutes of the second half and the last five, MacArthur were better. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's frustrating. I don't, know what to, I don't know what to think. I literally yeah. don't know what to think. The, the plus side was we, we, got, we had the good um, play second half. But at first half, man, yeah. if you're gonna, if we're gonna play around like that, and you come up against a better squad that, than our one, like you give the chances to, I'd say again, Melbourne City, give to Sydney FC these chances, Melbourne Victory these yeah. chances that we gave uh, Macarthur first half, and Macarthur obviously they couldn't put them away, <laughs> um, bro. We'll have some, we'll, we'll got, we'll, we would have got annihilated first half, I reckon. Mar- and then Mar- been, we've, we would come here and said a different story. But then again, luck was on our side. Mar- Thank Mar- God. Yeah, why not? Yeah. One all, Mariners are back in. All right, it's good for us. Yep. Um, we're just lucky, like oh. I said, MacArthur were on our side. Yeah. I mean, the luck was on our side, oh, yeah. not MacArthur. Mm. And but they no, missed you know chances. what? There's been so many games this year that we've started so well, that first 20, 30 minutes, and haven't yeah. come away with the result 
So I think it's it's a bit of justice, bro, to be honest. You know, there's been games where we started excellent, didn't get the points. This game, we didn't start well, but we got the points. That's the main thing. So I think uh, I think it's slowly balancing itself out. What I am go- – sorry, Buzzer. What I am going to say, and we've, we've been very critical about Rudin, his plan B, all this sort of stuff. This <laughs> game, he took, a bi- he took a risk doing the subs in the 50th minute yeah. and taking Ninko and Anderson off at the same time. Yeah. And – he got it right. He absolutely yeah. got it right. The subs and the formation or uh, change of not formation change, but personnel change of Brella going up front. That, it literally changed the game. Yeah. That 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 moment the subs were there changed the game. Milanovic taking a man on and Brella up front, yeah. spreading the defense and all this sort of stuff. I think in this game, Rudin's gonna get credit. In saying that, why were we dominated for forty five minutes? Yep. Yeah, that's, that's that's like uh, that's what I mean. I don't know what to think. I'd, I'm happy we got the three points, yeah. yeah. But we're nowhere near our peak, and if we do, if we are realistic of making the top six or even doing anything in the finals, that that last from fifty five minutes onwards has to be there for at least eighty minutes. Okay, let me give you. Let me ask you a question: Who we got next game? Brisbane. 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 Okay, oh, so so let's say we we back it up with a win. Uh, we go into that derby. We with obviously three games on the trot, nine points from the last three games. If we do get a result out of that Sydney FC game, is that a is that a situation where we start believing we might be able to do something this year? Yes. Oh. Would, you, would you start believing, Banana? These next, uh, th- let's I say we get start four points, but I'll say it's a much better it's a four, much better outcome from what I was thinking. Four points from these next two games, let's say a, a win against Raw and then um, a draw away to Sydney. Do we start saying we might be able to salvage something from this season? Or make a push for, for for maybe even a grand final appearance, bro. Nah. Or you think we're just too the, the gaps too listen, far, Malta? Listen, if we if we can if we can go on some miraculous run and just go out and win the next fucking rest of the games, yeah. Then I would say I'll say yeah, yeah. I'll say yeah. Okay, we, we maybe we can maybe we are, maybe yeah. maybe like you said before we maybe this is our peak. Maybe the boys have woken up from the seven nil. Yeah. And now they're just they're just that hungry. They they, they don't want to lose anymore. Yeah. Yep. But um, if we go out and Get a win this week, get a draw, and then go to the two Melbourne games, or that we've got the two Melbourne teams we yeah. have in the in the final two games, and we end up finishing. Let's say we finish and, fifth, and we, and we and we draw and lose, and I'm well, gonna say it now. Nah. Yeah, yeah, we're just yeah. gonna be in another number yeah. in in the um, so finals. You're, so you're saying the run home, we need a lot of wins there, and if we do get those wins, we might we can have some we sort could, of we expectation. Could pull we could pull something. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll simplify this question for you. What I just asked is the gap too far no. at the moment. No. From the the top two teams. No. Yes. No, no. no you know no. what? George, George said yes. No. George, what, you reckon this, they're too far ahead? In terms of- <sighs> To catch I'm not, up. In I'm the, not talking in yeah. terms of points. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking in terms of the way they're play, playing. Oh, right? I, I, definitely. The, the, the way no. they're dominating their games. Well, I definitely see that with Wellington. No. Yep. 100% Wellington. Uh, so probably, if you versus Wellington three times this week, would lose all three? I'd probably lose maybe two of the three. Two of the three. Probably get a draw out of maybe okay. one of them. Yeah, right. possibly two out of three. But in the finals, you might get that one. For yeah. me, Wellington and Sydney are the form team. Mm. I, I, I'm, I'm oh, more yeah, 100%. about Sydney well, than any other team. I, I, I feel, I'm, I'm nah. feel, I feel funny like with Wellington at the moment. I reckon Wellington... They're going to crash in the oh, No, no, no. I, I reckon I reckon they still haven't played their best football yet. Fuck. That's scary, bro. We, yeah. You understand? Yeah. And, and I don't, no, but you know what it is? I don't reckon they will. But they're just not like on this run where they just... They're just getting the they're just getting the wins and that's it. I reckon if they do they we get into finals time, I reckon they've huffed and puffed and they've finished first and I think that's all that they'll be they'll be happy with that. Yeah. Like if they go on and win the fin, well fuck me. So man. if I they finish KG first and they make Asia, I think that's a big they can't. They can't. They can't. Yeah. I think KG now uh, said it, he goes, There's a gap between us and Wellington and Sydney. So Wellington and Sydney, and then there's a gap but yeah, yeah. between three and six, there's not much there, you reckon, Malta? Well, Sydney are coming. Th- Mariners, let's say Mariners. I'm not scared of Mariners. I'm not scared. I'm a bit worried about the team I'm scared of more about is Sydney. Okay. Honestly, I was speaking to one of the players and I spoke Our to him. Yeah, yeah. And um, they pretty much said the same thing, to be honest. They go, like, Look, we weren't worried about Central Coast. Like, so not worried. I shouldn't say that. Central Coast didn't pressure them or they weren't the hardest opposition. Yeah. yeah. He goes, Sydney were our hardest opposition. He goes, mm. Sydney. Pressed us more, put it, put us more to the sword than any other yeah. team. Yeah, but and that comes I down to I think yeah. they that are. Gap, right. Yeah, I, that's right. I'm not Central Coast like credit to them, all this sort of stuff. But Central Coast is like a MacArthur to me. 
and it's probably wrong. Maybe we hype up our club too much in our heads. But you, you play MacArthur, you're expected to win. Yep. You play Central Coast, you're kind of expected to win. Now, maybe that's a bit unfair to MacArthur and Central Coast with respect to where they're sitting do you think the we, do, you, do you think, at, uh, uh, considering our last two seasons at this stage, we're expected to beat Mariners? We shouldn't be. I, I don't. But in my mind... I think Mariners have been the, one of the top two teams and the, the current champions, bro. I think they've pushed away from that that stereotype that they they belong uh, underneath us. I think they've overjumped us. That's what I mean. Yeah. Maybe it is a bit of disrespect there, and, yeah. and they deserve all the respect they get and all the success they get. But, yeah, but it's whether they can. I'm not scared of Mariners. I don't know why. It's whether Mariners can um, be consistent now for the next two or three seasons. Well, fucking, well, um, but this so. is this is the thing with Mariners. They, they end up tend to pick up like towards the final sign. They end up they end up picking up real good speed, man, momentum. They're very hard to stop, man. Yeah, when they pick well, up, it comes back like to what now, they're, playing, they're playing at home oh. against Melbourne City. It's one one all. And the they moment. beat they beat they beat City in their last uh, game as well at the, in uh, Central Coast, which was like what four or five weeks ago. Yeah. I reckon they'll end up beating comfortably again, even though they were. What down I will one say nil. is, if Rudin nails our, how can I say, with our personnel and our squad, yeah, anything less than a semi final should be considered as. An unsuccessful season. I'm not going to say failure, but unsuccessful season. <laughs> so if Rudin nails our squad, yeah, then we shouldn't realistically fear any team. Maybe Sydney on the day. Do you know? Do you know what I think's made a difference? I think Rudin comes across as a very arrogant person, right? Um, and I spoke to a couple of his ex-players at um, United as well, and how he goes around asking his players to call him the boss. When acknowledging him and stuff, right? And we know he's a confident individual. You know, he came on the show. He was very confident in his answers. Uh, whenever he's talked about our, you know, our season and what the West means, he's always been very confident. Do you think he, he got a humbling experience after that 7 0 loss to City yes. and he's taken a new approach with you know the what players? He did say, Boz, I don't know if you saw this. He said um, that they were in the bubble after the 7 0. Yeah. And couldn't understand right either during those games between oh sorry during the days between the Melbourne City game and Perth game or maybe just after he went and literally spoke individually had a wine with each player well, and yeah. open slate see where the head is at yeah and he kind of says that what has been the turning point for the last and if he has credit yeah. to him it's worked but yeah. um, uh, that's what I'm saying maybe can we say there was there, there was a there's benefits or a blessing out of that seven year yeah. loss. Yes, hundred yeah, percent. There is. Because I, I see Rudin now, and I can see that he's he's a much more humble figure. Yeah. Right. And sometimes as a playing group, right, when your coach has always been that aggressive tyrant, right, sometimes hearing him in a calm manner or seeing him more relaxed and more humble has a has a has a changing effect. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's played a part as well. I think the players maybe appreciate him taking on a more humble approach and more personal, yeah. more personal, personal approach. Touch. Like you said, bro, as a player, if my coach sits down with me one on one and asks me if I have any issues and where yeah. I think we're gonna, I'll, I'll appreciate that 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 uh, interaction 100%. rather than uh, being um, you know in a in a in a team uh, yeah. environment and being well, that same mindset like well, every I think week. I think Rudin had a choice. He, he obviously, after that 7 0 loss, he goes, What I'm doing isn't working. Like, he, realistically, he was in danger of losing his job. And he probably looked and goes, Look, what I've done the last couple of weeks. So he went on a reflect, reflection p- process. I, I hope so. And yeah. I think he probably did because there's a clear difference. Now, maybe it should have happened earlier. But if he has realized, Hold on, what I've done in the past isn't working for my team and my human Because they're human beings, players yeah, are human yeah. beings. And he has to change his way. Credit because to him, mate. Honestly, what I say, what I see is I saw Rudin being that, that, that a very passionate coach, right? And there's sometimes there's nothing wrong with being so passionate, but I feel like at times we were over passionate. Yeah, right. Especially that Sydney game. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We came out and you know we had all the expectations. Players were pumped. Brella like even Brella just wanted to mm. focus on the game, and everyone was due for that game, and it was an absolute disaster, shit, shit, yeah. shit storm. So. I'm thinking as a coach, sometimes I'm, I'm speaking from my experience, sometimes you need to sit and reflect on what am I doing wrong? And, and, and I always, and I raised this before, right? A long time ago, I explained the story how I versed Blacktown, Blacktown City and I pumped my boys a lot, right? G'd them up. Bro, these guys were seeing blood. And I ended up losing 6 0 early on in my coaching uh, career, right? And I had to reflect, maybe being overly passionate, right, isn't the way to go sometimes. Yeah. Maybe it's to stay calm. 
right? Maybe take a calm approach. Play your own game. Play your own something. game. Yeah. Talk more tactics rather than what this, what the area means to you. And I think sometimes um, the players will play under less less pressure that way yeah. because the expectations are lowered. But just just focus game, on yourself. Boys. Do yeah. this. These are your instructions in the game. You fulfill these instructions. You've done your job, right? Rather than, boys, we've got to do this for the area. We've got to do this for, yeah, yeah. for the West. The West means this. It's a working class uh, citizen, working class area. We've got to do this for the fans. Sometimes that's too much pressure, bro. Yeah. You know? And I think garbage. it's just a lot of garbage, bro. Honestly. It might work for the MPL team. Malta loves it. Malta, I love it. I fall for Malta you're old it. school, right? <laughs> I'm you're old school. school. You, you'd you'd yeah. love a great pregame talk, right? Uh, G up. He loves like, it during the week. Yeah. You know, I love it. I was going to say, like, we got a game on the weekend, and if we're versus the same team as last year, like, I'm already thinking about my forward. Like, I've, I've already got in my mind his name and everything. Yeah. And I'm just all week, like, just yeah. that's my job. But these it's players, more, you got to think, bro. But they're professionals. They, I'm not. They're professionals, <laughs> Malta. <laughs> their life, these guys, right? If you see them on the street, they don't yeah. want to talk football, bro. Yeah, exactly. They don't yeah. want to talk football, right? Yeah. Because, you know, it's it's, it's family life. time. Yeah. It's their life. Football takes a back seat. They're 100%. there four or five days a week. They don't want to talk about football outside of outside mm. of when they're in the Warriors bubble, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe the passionate G up thing, the old school way, doesn't work with some of these players. Yeah, they just yeah. want to get paid. They'll go out and do their job, bro. They're mm. professionals, right? They don't want to play under that expectation of playing for the area. I know it sounds wrong, Malta, yeah, yeah. but if that's changed... And if that's going to work, if it works, go for if it. If it works, yeah. go for it, bro. 100%. Focus on your job. Do 100%. do what it's required of you. Mm. Don't worry about everything else. Everything else will fall into its place. That's it. Look at us as fans, right? Mm. We didn't. We don't need no G up motivational talk <laughs> these last two games. But are we happy? No, of that's it because we got yeah, the yeah. three points back to back weeks. As long as you get the results, I don't care how it's done. Mm. I don't care if you come out mellow. Oh, you've had a mellow talk. You haven't even had a pregame talk. If yeah. you're gonna get us the three points, bro, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I don't want to hear about your yeah. fucking speech about the West, bro. I don't want to hear it about it. Heard it too many times, bro. Heard it too many times. It becomes repetitive for the past banana. fucking six you're years. You do it at the you do it at the start of the season, and then that's it. A couple of things. Uh, a couple of comments. First thing, Dave. I didn't say engage, multi top engage. Six. I said if we win the final, I might shave the beard. I, I said if we win the grand final, I will shave the beard. So hold that. Uh, Tony Tonich. Um, if I don't know if you've ever done a comment before. Fair enough. Um, look, it didn't. The, he goes. Uh, I'll just read his comment. You guys might frustrate you a little bit. I definitely think you got it wrong with him, Rudin, losing the dressing room. That's where it all started from, the RBTV. It didn't. Um, I can guarantee from extremely reliable sources that they were very unhappy with what was happening in the dressing room. And he, now, I don't know if he's, like Boz said, he's reflected upon that and won the dressing room back by his more approachable nature. I hope so. Um, but then he goes, and I think this comment's quite interesting. It might not have been the coach rather than our red cards and injuries that put us into a spiral. It has taken ages for a number of players to come back into some form. Obviously, the red cards didn't help. The okay. injuries didn't okay. help. So no, it doesn't we, help when your coach turns okay. around to your keeper and goes, yeah. it's your fault that we lost. Can, exactly. we, can we tie that to what I just said though, Malta? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Can we tie that to what I just said? 100%. Were the players G'd up too much or, or, or given too much of a prep talk where they went out over-aggressive? Because we were getting red cards every game at one stage. Yeah, every, the every game. Was so, so you got to say, Rudin might have had to say, bro, maybe I'm jing these boys up too much, mm. right? Because that Hendrix red card, I can't get it out of my head, was stupid. Yeah. And it was over aggressive. We were chasing the game. And I got to say, maybe that's reflective of the what the coach, the message the coach is sending out to the playing group. Yeah. Right. But now I, I feel like the players are a bit more calm. That even under the pressure, even under the waves of attack of MacArthur, I know we should have gone down, but they found the way. They found the way to bounce back yeah. and score that important first goal, right? Yeah. So I like seeing the Wanderers play more calm, bro, um, rather than come out and, and look fired up. 100%. Maybe that's going to work for us. Maybe that's what Rudin's changed after that 7 0 loss, yeah. right? And if that's, again, I reiterate, if that's going to work, then maybe save your prep talks. Right, save your, your chats, your, your talks about the West and what it means for the fans. Put, don't worry about us. You get the three points, you'll make us happy. We don't need to hear you say that you're playing for us and representing the badge. We don't need to hear that. We've heard it too many times, Banana. Yeah. Mm. Right? Save the talking. Give the players their instructions. Right? Make sure they know what the expectations are in terms of their responsibilities on the field. And if that, if that translates to results, bro, stay, stick to that. Don't worry about fan talk, bro. Don't worry about the area talk. 
I don't want to hear Leave it. it uh, players us. don't want to hear it. And I said this uh, to you many times, and I said on the show, it becomes repetitive, banana. Mm. It becomes repetitive. It doesn't have the, the effect. Right, you can use it once in a blue moon or once in a derby. You can to get a bit of a lift, and it worked last year for our away derby. You know, the the, the team talk in the dressing room came out on, on on social medias. But I think, man, just save it. Ryan, co- Ryan, great comment. I think he's agreeing with you, Boz. He goes, a good coach must adjust to the situation. Read the players, the game, the club. You can't just copy and paste each week and get good results. Yeah, you can't. And that's it. G up thing, yeah, the G up thing, bro. It's, it doesn't always work. I love it, mm. and we watch sports movies. We've watched your Coach Carter's, yeah. right? We watch these, these, uh, uh, you know, these amazing Mighty Hollywood Ducks. Mighty, Ducks, Mighty yeah. Ducks, and oh. it, there's a lot of <laughs> quack, quack, there's a lot of quack, passion quack, involved, quack. right? But we've moved away from the old school way, bro. Yeah. yeah, right. And, and I was just watching, um, who's the uh, McBree? The uh, old Central Coast, oh, McBreen. Daniel M- McBreen. Yeah, McBreen. I was just watching his. He was on a podcast with. Um, um, that Blondie, what's his name? He has his own podcast. Oh, the, the Adelaide guys. The M- M- Mark? Mark, yeah, Stephen yeah. Moore. Yeah. Stephen Moore. Moore. Stephen Moore. I was watching their podcast and he made up, he raised a good point. If you need to scream as a coach to get your message across, then you're doing something wrong. Yeah. yeah. Right? You should be able to get your message across or your instructions or what you expect from players without having to raise your voice, right? And I think these players just, that's the way you got got to go with them, bro. Yeah, we're in your there. Barellos don't want to be barked at every week in the dressing yeah. room. Your Marcel has had enough, bro. He's he's been playing football for some thirty years. <laughs> he doesn't want to hear a coach yeah. fucking screaming in his True. ear, bro. Samus you know? Hendricks, Samus Hendricks, Hendricks. The Marshmallow are, generation. Bro, they, yeah, they they're past, bro. These kids again, it might work in the MPL circle, Malta with the yeah, youngsters, yeah, yeah. but these players are past that, bro. Just yeah. talk to them like adults, right? Mm. Not like kids, right? Um, I, I I didn't know about the one v one. Um, interactions with the players, mm. maybe that that's that's what needs to happen, bro. Yeah, honestly, yeah. They don't want to. They, they're probably sick of rude yeah. and barking about passion every week, bro. Do those a weekly meeting and him to see how you, where your headspace is. Maybe do it once a week or once every fortnight. You go like, where's your headspace? Like, how's things? Whatever. Like, what's yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, like, yeah, we lost a seven nil. Went to Perth, got the result. First win in Macarthur. Um, and we'll obviously go into the game more, but from what when I was sitting on the sideline and looking at the overall structure and our plays, and it just looked like everyone was on unison. Mm. And that and that and that was probably like not that we've goal, seen. That uh, was it. The, the Kittle goal, the, the, the yeah. Hendricks goal. Oh, like, Hendricks goal, go the brother. We'll go that, for all the go, oh, go for all the goals. That's one of the best team goals this year, bro. <laughs> Honestly, well, yeah. well Simon Hill actually brought it up, and Simon Hill said this is probably one of the best team goals all season. He said it, yeah. That's yeah, right. so Caluccio's he's got to the end of the season at Perth. After that, yes, is free agent, whatever. <laughs> uh, Brillante, I don't know if he's still injured. I don't know. And I Yule, still, yeah. Yule's represented South Sudan, but uh, no one knows, so I, I can't even comment about that. Um, all right, so obviously the first goal. Milanovic comes on within what five minutes of coming on. He produced two minutes, this. absolute um, whopper. Of a and goal, bro. Oh, he cracked it. But you know what? This was this was finally a player coming on and taking a man on, mm-hmm. showing some positivity. Confidence, yeah. Um, like not picking on Ninko, but there's no way Ninko would have done this. What was his goal celebration? Did he put his oh, hand he to went his? to the supporters. Oh, I think it was with yeah, his ear, was it? I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah, to the. Um, oh, MacArthur MacArthur fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah you couldn't hear the cowbells, the, the yeah. ding, 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 ding. Like, good on him. Like, far out. What a hit, bud. Hey. Yeah, what a rocket. Oh, Jesus hit, Christ. Man. Left foot Where? as well. Jesus. <laughs> him. He, he's our Jesus, <laughs> honestly. Malta, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, this applies to all of you as well. As a coach, do you now say, I should have started Milanovic, nah, or do you say, nah. or do you say he's an impact player? Oh no, no, no! I wouldn't say he's an impact. I reckon he's given him, he's gave him, a, he gave him a rest. Oh, yeah. And then I reckon did, he's, yeah. um, I reckon Milanovic just sat back and looked at it and said, "Why the fuck am I on the bench, bro? What's yeah, going uh, on here?" I got something. Uh, uh, and I reckon, no, he's, I, I reckon he's come on and no, I reckon, no, reckon Rudy was I, smart I, enough to say. Well, I think it come down to that they just came back from the twenty threes, um, and giving because both nah. Brook, Brook and. Uh, Milanovic came off the bench, but I will give a credit to a player that I would have thought I'd never give credit to because after last week, what I said about prayers, no, about Nikovic, Nikovic, I didn't see this. I didn't see this, George. Nah, for a, oh, for, for, Ni- for, for, for Nikovic, you had the game for Nikovic yesterday. He's gonna say the first half to be playing in that heat at oh, okay. his age. 
still beating defenders and making them look like fools. Credit where credit's due, Miller. I'm giving no. you a fucking clap after. Mate, that. Honestly, I'm giving another contract. No contract. Look, 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 no. Well, but like. But George and Ninkovic is like the Wanderers. You don't know what you're going to get no. every week. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what exactly. you're going to get. No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Last week, you wouldn't even give your kid to a fucking Ninkovic Academy, bro. Last week, you wouldn't want to give your kid to a bro. guy who has 10 year experience <laughs> now. How you yeah. going? Right. We're all over the shop. I'm giving credit where you're saying credit to you. But because at the end of the day, I think having Kittle on the field as well yeah. allowed Kittle to free flow about, yeah. between the wing and the middle and allowing Nikovic to to attract those players and to provide outlets to certain players. Surely, right. well, and that's what I found. Something of him. And going back to your question, I think... Surely we can learn that, huh? Surely. Yeah, pass that on to the kids, yeah. Let's go that. Going back to your thing, I think, I think based on the Perth game, now going into Perth, obviously he played... Rudin did a... He surprised everyone. And I looked at the lineup. I'm like, what the hell? He played Kittle and he played Ninka at Perth. Yeah, yeah. We got the result. I think it's a e- I think it was an easy and a right decision for Rudin to start them this game. Okay. Now, in the first half, you would say it didn't work. Now, I know George said that said Ninka had a good first half or whatever. I, I think it didn't work. I think now he's taken Ninko off, brought Milanovic on, taken Anderson off, put Burrell up front. That's worked. Now, the, the tough decision Rudin's going to make is... What does he do for Brisbane? Does he start with how he finished? Yeah. Or does he go back to starting Ninko and Kittle? I, I think he starts with what he had on the field. At the start or at the end? No, like, like with Milanovic coming on. So he'll start. Okay. So Milanovic will start on can, Friday. Can you, That's the way can I you, see it. Can you see it this way, Malta? Mm. Um, can you say Milanovic, any time he's on the field, right, he's going to, if he comes on the field uh, in the 60th minute or 70th minute, he's going to add that energy and that intensity, right, and get, and create something. Do you want to, do you, would you like to have that weapon on your bench in your back pocket for games like this and just hope maybe Ninkovic and Kiru can get us up one or two nil and then you frame Milanovic on? No, no. no because how, how often will it because, work? Because yeah. if Mal- Milanovic starts, I don't see Ninkovic coming on and making the no same, way. same, no. same no, change, no, right? So no. that weapon's not there anymore. You're right. All right? That, that firepower off the bench is not there. But I think it depends on who we're versing. Now, exact team like Perth sit back, a team against MacArthur, Connor sit back, a Brisbane team against... Encounter. Yeah, a team against like Sydney, Central Coast, they don't sit back. So I think a Kittle and Ninkovic playing the starting lineup, we're going to get overrun. Like in, in, you'd know this in basketball, they have the sixth man of the year, right? Which is the, your best bench player. Yeah. And sometimes these bench players, mm. right? It's a sixth man because there's five starting. Sometimes they perform or they're better players than the starting oh, five, yeah. but you leave them on your bench because they come on and make that impact and awesome, change yeah. the game. Yeah. I don't feel like anyone on that bench, if Milanovic starts, will give that impact, bro. So, I, look, I'm not saying Milanovic shouldn't start, but I can see the benefits of throwing him in, on, yeah. on in a 1-1 one, one game, bro, with 30 minutes to go and him pulling you the win. I right? think I prefer to see, and well, I'm sure we'll talk about MPL later, I prefer to see Milanovic start yeah. and put a Hammond or Eunice on the bench. And if mm. Milanovic isn't being effective, throw them on. Now, they might be similar style to Milanovic, and obviously you know, Milanovic is a lot right. different than Ninko. So you hope to get you hope to get something out of Milanovic in the first sixty, yeah. rather than put him on in the last thirty against tied legs. Yeah, because that goal was against tied legs, bro. That defender was. All oh, I don't know, but he scored fifty yeah. five minutes into second half or ten yeah, minutes. But it doesn't half. matter. He still that's even right. if you, right. even if you, thing, even if you break for fifteen minutes. Look at that defender, bro. Look at that one. He pushed straight to the left end. Yeah. Going, brother. That defender was lost. The defender, bro. I think, wasn't useful. Uh, wasn't Look used him, to him. Bro. Taking touching, him on. He was touching earth, bro. Uh, yeah, it was literally. He was yeah. touching <laughs> earth, bro. That's <laughs> called an ankle breaker. Feeling impossible. the grass, mate. Honestly, yeah. Hey, you look at the thank God for my vision. Yeah, how good that looked on TV, man. We gotta talk. We gotta talk about something. Do you want to go to the goals? Very. We get to him. Okay. We'll get to him. Oh, we can go for the goal. I the just team? think we need to discuss our Swedish striker. Mm. Yes. Some yeah. are saying play good, some are saying play shit. I um, think oh, a yeah. very important talking point. Yeah. What do we do with him um, for the rest of the season? And do we continue um, with his services going into next season? So. Oh, let's do a should he stay or should he go? Should oh, I stay or should the I banana? Go? My my more I'm asking you about fucking uh, my more important Evans. question. My more important question is, what do we do with him for the rest of this season? So this season, I'd probably bench him. Okay, 
All right. And then I'd say, see you later. Thank so you who, who replaces him in the nine, Barillo? Yep. Barillo in the nine, Bernardo? Yeah, yeah Barillo nine. Push you back up front. Because I'm going to say Barillo in the nine. Yeah, Milanovic had a massive, massive impact. But S- moving Barillo so, up oh, front Do we all agree crazy. that Anderson goes on the bench? Gets yes. pushed to the bench? Yeah, sorry. Well, okay. sorry. He's done. Yeah. Try something new. You know, so, that sorry, Anderson, but sorry, I think your yeah, services are done, bro. We've tried I'm not going to say services are done. Nah, but are think you thinking it's another Hemet story? One yes. one year, Possibly, one and done? Yeah. Yes. One yeah. and done? Fuck, you yeah. started off so well, bro, in yeah. this preseason yeah, it looks game. Imagine happy, how excited we were after the FA Cup. Was it a, a month oh, was, 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 Cup? I was fucking stoked, yeah. bro. Finally, we got a striker. And then but <laughs> the question that I'm going to have to ask too as well is that why do we consistently pr- persist with Piraeus? He had that volley given to him on a silver platter... Chested it absolutely perfect. No one near him. And he shoots it like he's doing a conversion. What? Mm. Why? We, we can get to that. Yeah. Uh, George, let's get to that. Sorry, I just... Let, but just I, I think Anderson's the biggest, bigger issue right biggest now. Biggest issue, I know. And, and someone's made a really good comment here. Um, Sorry. He says, no, it's all right. We'll get to that because you raised a really good point. Perez needs to be discussed as well. Anderson hasn't adjusted to the environment and climate of the A-League. Yeah, but hang but on. He's playing in Saudi Arabia. Sometimes climate, I don't. Does climate always mean the weather? I believe some of them means just the way the way the football is played oh. here. No, I reckon Look, at the end of the day, it's a it's discussion. It's a European though. thing. They because they played overseas, they go come here. It's going to be a walk in the park. Come so here, it's, it's, a, it's, a culture, it's a big culture shock to him. How yeah, we so play it's, here. it's more right. of a mentality thing. What is right? it? It's it's look. I'll, I'll give it for this game that it was hot. But how many games? But it was how many games? How many games have been in the heat? That's what I mean. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, it's too hot. Right. Nothing, nothing right, excuses you both going to be hot. You're in Australia, yeah. mate. Soz, nah, man. I'm sorry. Yes. I feel sorry for him. He's a nice bloke. Someone I had a said, chat with him. Yeah, he's in the Maltese. Maltese, bro. <laughs> 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 the Is he? Sexy, bro. Sleek. Is he boss? Sleek, bro. Sleek the elite. <laughs> he's straight from the border of Iraq, bro. <laughs> Lucky, huh? Shout out to Danny, bro. Um, Danny Montani. What was I saying? Yeah, Edison's a great bloke. I had a chat with him midweek. Um, he actually came visit the. Oh, club. no, Nick. He's a great but bloke, so we'll keep him at the club. I'm not bro. saying that. I'm oh, just no, saying no, the opposite, no, bro. Oh, okay. Tell him, he's too soft, bro. Nah. We, we, I we, we, no, we, honestly, like I said, he's a great bloke, but sorry, mate. You're, you're on the bench. Where'd you see him? I came to my grassroots. Yeah, the massage club. place where he goes to, the rub and <laughs> My grassroots. You're going to give it a try. No, my grassroots club. But honestly, like like I was saying, taking him off. Shout out to Grassroots club? Nah, because people you know think I, mean? I play for Ponds, so let them think yeah. that. Um, it's Ponds anyway, why don't you just yeah, tell them, Ponds, bro? Yeah. Um, Ponds FC. <laughs> now, honestly, taking Anderson out and playing Barella there, it created space for Milanovic's, because obviously Barello is a lot different than Anderson. Anderson's a focused player. And with the with their defenders, especially MacArthur's one, Uskok and whoever the other guy is, they're quite tall. They're not, they're not agile. They, they, they would prefer, if you ask him, Mark Borello or Mark Anderson, they're all going to say Mark Anderson, who they would prefer. Yeah. So I think playing Borello offers us some more. Now, Correct. in a key moment, who's going to be more clinical? Yeah. I would probably traditionally say, say Antonsen. Yeah. But who's going to create more problems? Borello. That's I'd rather create problems than have someone sit there for 70 minutes waiting for a ball to come to him because he's just standing there like, like a statue. All right, I'm going to end this poll. 70% reckon Milanovic should start. I'm going to do another Milanovic poll. starts. Yeah. Okay, so you what do you do? You that up, didn't you? Yeah. So 70%. Okay, so how do you make... I going to make another one of it. How do you make it work, Malta? Borella in the nine, Milanovic on the left? Yeah. Literally that. Well. Kittle has performed, so I'm playing him 10. So you're starting with the two tens? Yes. Kittle and Ninko? No. Yeah. No. Fuck. No. What are you doing, bro? I'm Ninko's on the bench. I don't know what he's going to do. Okay, um, so I've got... Um, who you got? Let me just go here because it's making me paranoid if I can't see what's happening. Um, <laughs> so, obviously, backline's a backline. I'm uh, Hendrix Priestman as a two Fuckin CDMs. Yep. Balls, what kind of woman do you prefer? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> then I got Milanovic on the left. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Kittle in the 10. Yep. On the right, take your pick between Brooks. I don't know. Whoever. Whoever's I'll go with Lucky Brook. um, Brooks. And yeah. then up front, Brillo. Brillo. Fuck, that's a gun. Um, backline, boys. Did you, well, let's ask a question. Um, should Antonson start? I don't know. I just want to win, bro. I just want to win. Anton. I just want to win. I just want Antonson. I'm over it. I'm coming to the world's end of the season. A-T-O-N. I'm already Double over it. Double S. Double S. Double S. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of them end in S-O-N. I care. Trust it. Trust it. Trust it. I'm surprised I'm start question mark. I'm surprised the Wanderers haven't gone on yeah. a oh, he's the coupon room. deal with IKEA. IKEA every, eh? every goal scored, you get hundred dollars off like IKEA. Yeah. They should have done something with IKEA, eh? All right, so let's get a second goal. Kittle's goal. All right. Oh, oh fantastic. fantastic! Absolutely fantastic! Sensational. You, is this the one where um, 
Milanovic, it was Hendricks done the flick on to Milanovic yep. Yep. on the side. Yeah, mate, what a flick that was! I don't know if the camera picked it up, but that was crazy. Well, I I was sitting right in the front row and I saw that live, and oh, that was yeah. just oh, I was mate, above mate, it I I, 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 I nearly nice. fell off my chair. Honestly, like that, you from the far angle, you can see. This bit. If he couldn't like finish Hendrix from Hendrix's flick. Bro. Nah, but nah, nah. If he couldn't finish from oh. there, I'd be asking questions, bro. Yeah, I said, okay, <laughs> it's, it's easy question. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a play of European standard, bro. You yeah. need to finish that, bro. Yeah, yeah, there's more. There'd say. be more than a few questions but after again, that. Right? But even look at, look, look at, the, right, look at the movement up front. Finish. You don't get that with Anderson. It's quite stagnant. Because but it's... This yeah. I like, uh, it's a proud moment for me, bro. Okay. Yeah, it's a proud moment. Why? Beautiful team goal, build up. It's oh, like the second one, one too. Yeah. Third one was better. I scared the poor. I, I scared the, my poor baby with the fucking with all the goals, pretty much. <laughs> Rocking someone, someone, yeah. someone, someone said, and I, I don't agree with the f- first goal, probably, but it, it is up there. You reckon the three best goals of our season? No, Milanovic is. Oh, they were good. They were, they were, oh, I was impressed with all of them. Team goals. First Multi- goals. Team goals. Yeah. Team team goals. goals. Yeah. yeah. The okay. third one was. Well, yeah, I was find nice. it was nice. To go third Kirp- one already. Sorry, Kittle, we waste, waited all season. Could have pitched his penalty. Banana just wants to go straight away. Listen, listen yeah, no, it's a good goal. The second listen, goal. Listen, listen, to goal. listen to me. Listen to me. Kittle. <laughs> Kittle. <laughs> listen. Listen to me. Listen, brother. <laughs> no, we haven't seen the best of Kittle. Of course not. We're starting this, to. We're starting to. Uh, do you think this goal not. is going to. Um, open the floodgates. Well, can I? Can I actually? Well, Malta, so. yeah. Can, can yeah. I? That excites me, bro. It does. It does. Because potential's there. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. resume's yeah. there. Can, can I just bring up something real quickly? Especially with Kittle, right? When he came to the club, obviously on loan, his social media was not as much with the you know post about Wanderers game day, blah blah blah. The last couple of weeks, he's posted about playing for the club and results when we've won. Kittle has. Yep. So, so I think in? I, I actually think and that one on one session that he may have had obviously with Rudin, I think he's realized that he's not here for a holiday. Holiday, yeah. I hope so. I hope so. Well, well he's got his first goal. Probably. It was a great goal. Well, look. Well, Kittle laid yeah. this off, didn't he? No, Kittle scored it. Uh, it was Hendrix. Sometimes you know what happens as well. Um oh, George. Maybe, right. maybe it is Kittle. No, Kittle laid it off, eh? Hey? Sometimes yeah, you, yeah, five, yeah, yeah, you know what it, what else happens sometimes these overseas players mm. they really enjoy life in Australia mm. yeah she, she, and beach like Schneiderland he was loving it here he wanted to stay here there's rumours of he might come back to the A League she, and specifically he's been looking at Western Sydney do you, do you think right oh well there you go do you oh. think do you think these players uh, once they climatise or once they um, settle down in Australia they say you know what I know I only have a, a contract to the end of the season but let me push for another season. That's what this William. Trotter Do you think it's goes. a moti- it's I a motivating factor? I, I think I don't trust him at all, bro. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, that's I, what this I, William Trust goes. Well, Kittle's like, like coming off contract. Well, because he's obviously on a loan. He's only for the he's for one he's, loan. He's, he's only for the loan contract at his club. So maybe he's like, holy crap! I need no, to do I, something here. I think he's performing to go back to Europe. Possibly. Well, obviously that's that's a dream. And I don't blame him for how that. Old, how old is he? Like 28, 29. Oh, so he's still got years left in No, no, sorry, 31, <laughs> 32, sorry. Oh, apparently he's not coming off contract. There you go. There you go, Malta. This is why there I say you. don't trust the spelling. See, don't trust fucking <laughs> that trust Next guy. Next season his contract ends. All right, fair enough. Um, but you're right. If, if Kittle performs like this, and someone said maybe because he's actually starting games now. Yeah. Nah, that, that club he was at last, that Polish club, then he, then he went on a bar yeah, room, Yeah, he's mate. 32. Or 31. Anyone above the black? No, he's 32. Wow, maybe he's 31, turning 30. We went from 27 to 32, bro. I started Dad, off at 19. We went, went from peak, <laughs> ca- <laughs> went from peak career to... to like, trust him how this put Anton's... To retirement Well, village. there you go. 77% said Antonson should not start. You heard it fair first. Hey, did Eunice play in the NPL? Yeah. Yes, he did. And how do you, how do you oh, perform? Mate. No, oh, the Eunice thing is not true, you clowns. Oh, my God. How did he play, George? He did yeah, okay. He was good, bro. He was good, but without being spectacular. No, I think, bro, I was, I was obviously with George. We watched the game. You're going to say spectacular? I'm going to say that I, I was looking at it, and I'm like, holy crap. We could be seeing something special here. In Fuck. regard, No, no. In I regards, said it three seasons ago. Not, not in Eunice. No, I'm not talking about just Eunice. In regards so that team. in the MPL that this we had Eunice on the right, we, we had Hammond at the left, and we had Blair and Sapsford up front. And it was like, holy crap. St. George. They City. were 
they, that, they according to them. but no, according to Sofa School, we had Milanovic. Yeah, that's what yeah, was that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. Bro, <laughs> it came up. It came up on the on the app. It said <laughs> Milanovic. Just said Milanovic. Oh, Bad 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 was playing, and he was playing more like a. He scored, the sec- he scored the second goal as well. And I'm yeah. like, did Milanovic get <laughs> dropped, bro? That's I'm what fucking, I was thinking. I mean, he must have got dropped, nah, the bro. The first goal, Batalanas was lucky. Yeah. You, you remember that who, one, the who, long, who long, long, long one. Who scored the second goal? Who scored the second goal? Because it came up as Milanovic. That was five goals. I can't remember. I um, can't remember. Was it Blair or I was too Zepfer busy eating, eating oh, chips. But honestly, like, the NPL, you want to bring it up, like, oh, the, the boys are top of the league. Yep. Fair clear, enough. Clear by with four. St. George were third last. Doesn't matter. Last, they were two, last one year up, we were one, 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 one nil up. But here's the thing. St. George Budapest actually finished. St. George what? Budapest. They're the Hungarian. Well, they're the original yeah. Budapest team yeah. in yeah. the NSL. So you can acknowledge the... the Their jerseys are that colour. The ancestors. Well, the they're, the, ancestors. they're like one of the OGs in the NSL. Yeah. The St. George City only was founded in 2012 or 2013. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. they've only been around recently. There's two St. George's. And one's the old, like you said, the Budapest, Budapest one, the yeah. Hungarian one. Yeah, yeah. Right. they still got the Hungarian yeah. colours on the jersey. Yeah. Yeah. History, I like this. I like that. Yeah, it was good. Honestly, it was good. I can give you an NSL history right now. No, 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 no. no that's so <laughs> how good were the uh, were the St George players? Um, we realised one of them was uh, ex teacher, one of the boys, and he kept he kept having a laugh. He goes, "Oh, boys, I'm too old for this." As we're giving him crap, and <laughs> during the warm up, we're like, "Wait, well, if you ping a pass, someone else will ping a pass to uh, one of your players, like thing the wonders yeah, on yeah. you." Pinged it. Pinged it and oh, goes, he that's it, boys. It. I'm signing. Yeah. Like, the banter is just great. <laughs> eh? But um, the referee was Stephen Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> but so you, know did you, you see the pep talk he gave <laughs> about, you know, what? Yeah. I, I didn't that. see that. I was watching but then the also, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then we're not. also, we said to someone yelled out, oh, this is why you're not in the A-League yeah, and, and, and he gave us a laugh. He gave, he gave us, us like yeah. a thumbs up. <laughs> a laugh. Like, it's honestly Mr. Bean. I call him Mr. Bean. Honestly, if he's if he's... Like if he's a board, you get nothing on get NPL. It's just it's well, raw. It's great. I'm going to NPL on Sunday. Go and watch him against uh, Manly. Wait, over there, Manly. At Manly, you got Jeez, at Cromer Park. Well, I've got I've got an uncle and auntie who lived up there. So. That's your real nice field over there. I went over there, my son played. They just Fuck yeah. because they Hell, just mate. resurfaced it in the past yeah, off season. But not just that, yeah. just the, just the stadium as a whole. Their, the well, facility is really their, good. Their, their, the grass that they laid out there, banana. It's not it, grass. It's astroturf. Astroturf, astroturf yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the best in the league at the moment. It's it was costed. It cost like two or three million dollars. Oh, yeah. I know because Southern Sharks, the whole committee went down there for a tour. Um, to get info about it, and they're going to probably uh, relay their one as well with the same they stuff. Yeah. So they've they've pumped money into their into their facilities at Chroma, um, and it's looking schmick, bro. So in, in the feedback from the players is it's really really um, good to play on. Oh, nice. Mariners two one ninety second um, minute. There you go. Massive. Good for us. Beautiful. Uh, for us. Beautiful. Also, Beautiful. what happened in MPL? Penzopolis came back, played left back, um, quite rusty in the first ten, but after it. Oh my God! Did he? Oh, he, he's balls in to the crosses. Jesus Christ! They were lethal. He he was to the Blair. Like, Jesus Christ! He was running down the left. Just and anyone that was anyone in the in middle. middle. The the pace he was whipping those those balls in, uh, unbelievable. Uh, I, I I think I'm actually in love with that bloke. Oh, because he's Oy. Greek. Not just that, Greek. but he's he's just he's funny. He's, he's, a funny he's just a fantastic guy. Oh, he's like, what, like what's not to hate about? He plays well. Plays a drum he, well. He, no, baby. Well, that too. But he's just. Like this squad that we've got at the moment in this NPL team, and I re- yeah. and I really, really hope, and I keep on barking about this, but Marcus Eunice needs to get more A League time does, because if this kid does not get A League starts, he's going to become frustrated. I and think he will look to I go think, elsewhere. I think bro. there's something happened there, bro, because there's got to be, yeah. be. Because Banana, you remember as well, every time he was coming on the field, he was making an impact. Yeah. And then the murmur started yeah. that he was unhappy. And then, yeah, the, RBB, and yeah. then they said he was uh, there was a 100%. potential move to Adelaide. Yeah. Do you think um, Rudin didn't appreciate maybe the the agent creating rumors or something like that to force him into the squad? Because that happens a lot. Sometimes agents make uh, these rumors up um, that players aren't happy uh, to get to force their yeah. their their obviously their maybe done another maybe done so another um another uh, what's his name the one that plays for Melbourne that was with us now before. Terry and Tony, maybe they don't have a Terry and Tony on him. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. You get, you get stupid yeah, but stuff. Di- yeah, but, yeah, but stuff di- different ages, though. Yeah, on Friday, time. someone put out a thing, oh, he's watching the Adelaide game, and then next minute he's Saturday night, he's at mm. Blacktown, bro. Yeah. They don't believe everything. It's all bullshit. No, honestly, um, no, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Well, why, for me, and you raised this earlier, George, for me, Pierre is 
adds nothing. I would prefer to see Eunice or Hammond there. Mm. Because ha- Hammond's he, a little he, gun. Hammond's a gun. Well. Little because machine. Yeah. Paraez gets a good cross. He's had, he's had, he's had some games. He's had some games. When he's come on, he's fucking he's so quick. He, he, he's good at the NPL level. I don't think he has the potential to be. Who's a player we lost to Western United? Oh, um, oh who I was? Uh, Lapane? No, 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 that's Melbourne City. Melbourne City, Western United. That was Lapane. Oh. No, yeah, guys, who who did we lose to Western United? Nazarene. <laughs> Nazarene. 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 Remy. Is he? Does he, he was so. Oh, do we? Was so bad. Do we? Does, does, does he remind you a bit of Rami? <laughs> nah, no, 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 no. Nah, that is so insult him like that. Nah, yeah, mate, that's an insult. You said when he's pacey and stuff. Nazarene had pace, but he had no final product. No, nah, nah, Eunice nah. is miles ahead. I think. No, 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 I'm not saying Eunice. I'm talking about um, Hammond. 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 Oh no, 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 no. Hammond little, is little, little ha- triple, ha- ha- Hammond's ha- Hammond's short, low center of gravity, stocky, yeah, stocky, quick, and he Something can actually you do. Doing. He can he can mm. go past players. He can go Fuck. create. And getting back to the parade scene, like Jeez, he gets a good mind. cross, handing it to on a silver platter, yeah. chests it perfectly. And fucking converts it over the bloody <laughs> oh, says, like, come on, on bro. Yeah. No, it's not Conversion. AFL. But like, uh, you know, who else but it's just frustrating because the amount of times this yeah. guy gets an opportunity after opportunity, and you'd rather and something like Eunice be there. I keep Ooh. on harping on about it. The Brisbane game in Suncorp, yeah. he puts that cross off the end, and it just absolutely baffles me. How did me. you rate our right back in the MPL, George? Who was it? Shikluna. Shikluna. Yeah, he got a photo with. Uh, with one of the boys, yeah, yeah, yeah she could have played right back, mate. Honestly, this kid, like, now I'm biased, <laughs> mate. He's he, he, he's on the edge of our eighteen, taking three men on, going into our eighteen, and just pinging a great ball. Honestly, okay. play him as camp. Would you call him the Maltese Messi? Oh, there's only one of them. There's only one of them. There's, there's only one of them. This foot, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, yeah. just someone brought it up. What a raise as well. Do you think <laughs> the biggest robbery the A League's ever seen was our trade for Nazarene and Milanovic? Oh, 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 bro, that is, bro. oh, easy. We came out winners with that one. Easy. But then we trade. Oh, yeah, no. Easy. That, yeah, but then we trade bloody. Uh, who did we trade? Uh, Redmayne for Yenjevic or whatever that was. That we lost yeah, that one. Yeah. we lost that one. And, and how's Yenjevic going at Wollongong? Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is that Wollongong? Yeah. Yep. Wollongong. Yeah. Sydney Olympic. Uh, came well, from since the MPL's going so good, should we talk about the women's? Yeah. Frustrating. Uh, like, I'm upset. They choked. Oh, they I, choked. I no, nah, I don't think they choked. The first time. I, look. <laughs> <laughs> There's your joke. There's look. your Jack boys. No, we're going to get inboxed. There's your there. Jack. Look, <laughs> I'll make the comment because I've been going a lot more of the games. On one, huh? <laughs> no, not. Banana, be quiet. <laughs> be quiet. Tell him, George. Tell him. Uh, <laughs> this guy's so shit, uh, bro. That was right. Um, uh, look, with the women's uh, season this season, obviously not they losing their coach, what, four days before the yeah. derby? Yeah. Not good. Um, give for credit, the first game, yeah. Give credit to Robbie. Yeah. Um, you know, he got – he made some uh, changes – in the uh, lineup, put Harding prop, uh, properly as a number nine, uh, move uh, Harrison to centre back because she's getting on in, I guess, the the age, even though she's still young, but in women's football, like her age isn't. The quote, coach quit, did he? Um, no, no. The, the, our women's coach that we had before, she um, before got, she got fired like, yeah. like four days no, before. No, but the, Robbie's, Robbie's still there. He hasn't. Yeah, no, he, he, he got a uh, so yeah. extension for another two seasons. So credit to him. If we had won maybe one or two other games when we had lost, we would have made finals. Yeah. Um, Sydney FC women can go fuck themselves because that goalkeeper that used to play with us, has, I don't know if you guys saw the game or watched highlights, she that. went and got the ball collected, yeah. um, and she just, I don't know, out of frustration or brain snap, she kicked, she the, kicked the uh, Western United player in the shin, and, yeah. and the referee gave a, gave away a penalty and a yellow card. And they lost the championship. And that was it. They smart. Melbourne City were the Premier's plate. So that George, was a con job. Would you put Jackie O in the women's team? Huh? Would you put, put Jackie, Jackie O in the women's team? Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. She doesn't belong there, right? Nah. She belongs somewhere else. The Kyle and Jackie A show. Nah. Um, <laughs> someone raised a question. I think we didn't touch on it. Uh, the bullshit at the end of the game, Davila and Jermaine. Yeah, I missed that. Eh? Yeah, what happened there? Yeah, I, 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 I only saw 
a little bit from a distance. <laughs> Just, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> um, but then when I went home and watched the <laughs> highlights, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, there are frogs. There are frogs. Oh there are my frogs. god! Li- oh, live TV frogs, yeah, the frogs. Um, yeah, and it was a bit of a like talking to between Milanovic and Davila, and then uh, then I see who was it? Uh, Jermaine coming out of nowhere and. Um, I don't know if there was like Fucking someone dirty choked. Prick. Dirty prick, I don't know bro. if someone choked one of our players or grabbed their throats or. Yeah, Jermaine. Um, no and Jermaine actually got a yellow card for back chatting on uh, one of yes. the fouls, and yeah. I was actually good to see Fahazi stamp his authority, no bullshit taken, and show the yellow exactly. And um, shut the prick up. Dude, this is why we don't like MacArthur and we don't like the certain players oh, that they have. I, I, I'm starting to hate MacArthur. Eh? What do you mean, sir? I've always had it. They're taking it to grubs. What's yeah. called the hate with a passion? Honestly, he's probably no. I, I just, I, I'm him. just hating that they've they've, they've taken what? a spot that Wollongong probably Wolves should have taken in the A League. That's my opinion. And yeah. All right. Well, should we start looking at the Brisbane game? Yeah, it's Friday. Short, very short turnaround for us. First thing first, we'll start with the hard question. Obviously, backline picks itself. Who's starting up front? Oh, uh, you just Barilla. said, said Barilla? Barilla, yeah. yeah. Who's the midfields? You're assuming Hendricks, Priestman? I think we don't change that? No. Hendricks, Priestman. All right, now the tough one. Who's above him? Sonny. Sonny? Who's left and right? Uh, Miller. Ninkovic? No. Nah. I'd have him on the bench. So Milanovic on the left? Yeah, and the right, then Brook on the right. Okay. Um, I'll go with that. Or is he uh, uh, yeah. I'm saying Ninko, bro. On I'm the left? Th- okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm saying Ninko. I think um, in those conditions, if he played in that heat con- you know, consider- considerably well, um, we're versus Rory in a night game. Yeah, Friday yeah. night. Friday night. I think he's going to have a bit more juice, bro. Yeah, a bit more juice, and he's gonna have a bit more to offer. Sometimes these older players, they, they just need minutes, bro. Right? Because they stiffen up. Yeah, right. They give them momentum. And it's like they need a couple games just to loosen up. I think Ninkovic, I really do. I think for his own sake, he really wants to end his career on a high note. Yeah. And he deserves it, banana. Right? You're talking about yeah. the best import that we've ever seen for his own reputation, for his own, you know, the story. Right, he deserves a good ending, and I think good he point. he really wants to push hard, bro. Good point. It's gonna apparently yeah. shit down on yeah, Friday. Yeah, well, I Thursday, was about to actually Friday, mention Saturday. it and say, with that starting eleven, stay like, home, would, everyone. Would, we would might you, melt. Would you maybe change it up? And I think that suits Ninko more than you know. Yeah, or would you? Game? Or would you? Yeah, look. So it's raining on Friday. It's seventy-five percent piercing, down. piercing yeah. down. Maybe they might cancel the game. Who knows? No, no, no. Not after the. AFL game list day that was ridiculous, but um, yeah, in that case, I'd would you throw both of them on? Who's both? Nikovic and Sonny. Oh, Kittle starts for me, hundred percent. Kittle's a start. Yeah. yeah, so Sonny and Nikovic. Okay, that means Milanovic doesn't start though. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, just because of the weather factor, I forgot about that. It plays a part to Ninko, I think. And I'll give it saying that, yeah, like yeah. Milanovic running at defenders, chance they might yeah, slip or whatever. Exactly. Possible. And I'll give a credit or credit where players due that I've been absolutely shit about every freaking week. Clisby, he played well. Oh, well, you got to give it. You got to give credit where it's like due. I said, I'll well, give credit well, where credit is due. He played I'm, well. I'm going with the lineup that we finished. Last so game. Milanovic, so Milanovic, Milanovic, so Milanovic Milano up front. Uh, does Ninkovic start? Maybe Ferreras. No. No, uh, no, he was out on the bench. No, no, Kittle starts. Can I ask you a question? I, I did, I did raise a point where we didn't have firepower off the bench if Milanovic starts. Yeah. Is it worth bringing Yunus onto the 100%. bench? Especially now he's overcome that injury. I either have oh. Yunus or Hammond oh. on the bench if we both. We need that firepower. We do, bro. Yeah. We do. I, I'd even, I'd even go as far as to check uh, Chuck Nathaniel Blair yeah. or Sapsford. I don't think we have a striker issue. If we're going to start with uh, Anderson, Anderson on, on the, the bench, bench, yeah, I think that's sufficient for but a striker yeah. position. I hope. I hope and pray that Eunice at least gets on the bench for this game. Because if he doesn't, then that's it. Yeah, yeah Eunice won't be playing. on the bench too for Clisby. That's Look, Panther like, did well in the NPL, but when he got ran at, he was a bit exposed. I'm going to say that. 
She clear now, bro. Wow. She clear now. Probably the DP. He went to Malta. He played for Malta. Comes back. Right does right 80 minutes in the MPL. Something. Plays 80 minutes in the MPL. He can play whenever. Um, um, weather forecast, thanks to Ahmed Plays. Um, um, yeah, Quite degrees. a night cloudy with periods of rain low, 19 degrees, winds east. And and wow, look at this. A lot, chances of rain is 100%, 50 to 75 millimeters of rain expected locally heavy rain. Ahmed's new Tim Bailey. Ahmed, uh, what's that? Ahmed Bailey. Tim Bailey. What's bro. the website? Oh, the boom. Bomb. The bomb. bomb. Mythology. Bomb. What is it? Yeah, Bureau of Meteorology. <laughs> Meteorology. Yeah, We're bomb. Gonna bomb. Ahmed's yeah. the Bureau of Meteorology. Ahmed's Meteorology. Meteorology. Say it, bro. I'm going to. Meteorology. Uh, Bureau of Meteorology. Meteor <laughs> Meteorology. <laughs> Meteorology. Meteor they don't study Meteorology. No, study Meteorology. Meteorology. Classic. Bureau of Meteorology. Classic. Nah, they don't yeah. study Meteorology. Bureau of Meteorology. Bureau of Meteorology. All right, let's go. The famous score predictions. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> George is G. Uh, I'm not G. Yeah, what? Well, I'm talking about like Brisbane I'll, I'll give you a prediction. Uh, RBB, stay away. We're winning, man. Stay away. <laughs> stay, stay away. You know, since the boycott. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, you know, when Milan and Mitch went like this, it was to our fans like, Nah. Remain silent, bro. Yeah. We don't, we don't, stay we silent. Don't need we don't you. Stay need, away. We don't need <laughs> you, bro. Bro. We like this fucking <laughs> calm they, environment, they bro. They start sending out personal messages on social media going, please stay away. Please stay yeah, away. Yeah, 100%. Kaylee DeGuara reckons two new mm, Western five, City two. Wanderers That's are weird. Who said 5-2? Yeah. Kaylee with the confidence. AJ. But you're on something. Two new. Um, Medi meteorology. <laughs> meteorology. I, I'm gonna say I'm, meteorology. I, I'm gonna say one all draw. I'm with George. One all draw. Shitty because it's gonna be conditions. As yeah, I reckon it's gonna be a sluggish game. All right. Um, Low school. Sluggish or sluggish? Oh, okay. I think it's gonna be a sluggish <laughs> game. Also, I think the the games that are played at Combank have affected the field as well. Um, a few rugby games. A few yeah, rugby Tigers. games. So I'm back on the Tigers fucking bandwagon. Oh. Still nah. fins. Come on, hey, still fins. Oh, top of the fins. league. I've got a top mate. Of, he's top of the league. He was fucked at Tigers. I'm going to fucking top the, to the top Dolphins. of the league. Now he's back in the Tigers. Now he's top fucking Tigers. Saint George. <laughs> Saint George. Saint George, brother. Saint Merge. Nah. Nah. Some of these people. I follow the team that's named after you. They chop and change clubs. Unbelievable. I'm a Western Suburb supporter. All right. So two draws, banana. Drop. Um, uh, fucking hell, man. Where I'll go. I won the all win us. Oh, I love it, KG. The KG. suburban dreamer. Let's continue dreaming. That three, three, two. I win these. These make sense. I'm gonna say if we are realistically of making final, this is a must win, hundred percent. Again, um, no, it's a must win. It's, it's a must it's, win, it's, bro. It's, it's, has to, it's, has to. it's all about it's not, every game is a final. Not every game is a must win. But I don't. This one is. I don't see us beating Sydney, so this does yeah, become a that's must what win. I mean. That's if what I mean. we don't win this, yeah. we're gonna go two games without the other win. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. in saying that story of our season, I'm gonna say, and I hate this one nil loss. Oh, ah, so negative. That's a draw. You're going with draw. So negative. One, one all, but you no? said win. But I said one all, but you're going with the loss. I'm going with win. He's going with the draw. Draw, draw. So we've got draw, draw. draw. What do you reckon? Win, I said. One nil. Okay. All right. Next minute, three nil. Loss. Nah, but honestly, like I said, it realistically, I'm not going to say we're back 100%. Even if nah, we win nah. this, I'm not going to say we're back, but we, we do need to win this game with our fixtures. Before we wrap things up, I just want to bring up something else. Hello. When I was a young kid uh, in, in my public school, um, we had a basketball player rock up to my school. His name was Steve Bolden. Bruce Bolden. Bruce Bolden, right? And, and Rucker, was it? Derek Rucker. Derek Rucker. Fuck and no, George. I no, jumped no. on at the age of 12 or 13 at my primary school. I jumped on the Razorback, West Sydney Razorback bandwagon. And I started going to the games. And uh, last year, me and George started talking about the Razorbacks days, right? Because the club's folded now. And Sydney Kings was the rival team. Um, and there was no team that uh, represented the West. And so we still have allegiance to it. And me and George can always talk about uh, the West Sydney Razorbacks, you know, the, the good days. And always, you know me, I'm a big, big firm believer that the A-League teams can have basketball teams like the Euro, Euro Leagues, right? Yeah, yeah. Your Real Madrid, your Barcelona, your Olympiacos, yeah, your yeah, yeah, bunches. Yeah. I yeah. see that model working in Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I always say if there was a West Sydney Wanderers Versus Melbourne Victory Basketball Game, right? That inside is an arena. In an arena, that's being sold out, bro. 
Hundred percent. All right, and Banana, you just went to a recent bo- boxing event, indoor event. Yeah, and it's different. It's different. Yeah. It's different, echoes. right? Because it echoes. It's a yeah, different yeah. one. Yeah, and so George gave me a little surprise today. George, yeah, George, model of George. Yeah. Uh, George brought it up a bit. Left Whip George, out. George, step a bit. Look at that! Look at that beauty! That. Look at that beautiful jersey! Look at those bro. guns, bro! Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> One Big Mac each, yalla. <laughs> so, hopefully we see the a, a West Sydney franchise in the future. Sorry, it's the wrong colour. The first, uh, right. the first the elite the clubs side. have got to fucking financially fix get fucking league. fix up the league before we do anything else. But right, but there's potential there, boys. There, there is, is potential but there, boys. Yeah, yeah, um, 100%. And George, I when just does the when does his MB, M, the what is finals, finals, finals now? Yeah, yeah, is it in the finals now? It's no, it's already finished. it's already done. Oh, so it clashes. Yeah. Tasmania won. The J- yeah. Jumper Jacks, but, but it they, clashes with they, they beat Melbourne the United. Yeah, yeah, it does. It clashes with our season. Nah, they, yeah. they can choose different days to play on. Yeah, but they play midweek weekend. Oh, oh midweek. People want to know, George. If you got OnlyFans, mate, they're they're impressed. Fucking if you do, ten bucks a month. Oh, <laughs> that's affordable. Ten bucks a month. You want extra photos? You know, you yeah, got a private, extra po- private you know? DM, bro. You want a nipple here? <laughs> Twenty bucks. Where's the forecast for Jackie? O? <laughs> Ten mils of water after George whips out the Razorbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Ten mils of out. water. <laughs> Fucking hell, love it. The jumper jacks. Um, oh, George, you're one of a kind, mate. <laughs> hopefully, um, hopefully we can maybe in the next ten years see a model that includes. Let's see. Wanderers or a West Sydney franchise. Oh, we're Wanderers. talking about it. They're they they talking, yeah. Let her get onto it. Yeah, but where we're going to play, they have to build something. Cause Olympic, Park. Home, Olympic, Olympic Park. Olympic Park, bro. Share it. Share it like they're doing the soccer. Amy build Park. A, build a little stadium at um, Rudy Hill. Three, four thousand? Twelve yeah, thousand. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Sold out every game. Every game? No, we'll be every sold game. out. Yeah. No, you just got to understand, there's a lot of West Sydney um, residents that don't like soccer, that like basketball. I mean, I'll go and watch the basketball. I don't fuck, care about basketball. But I'll go and watch it. Chair, yeah, just honestly, a chair, couldn't give a fuck. Yeah, rip a fucking flare, bro. You won't run an <laughs> asthma. You won't run an asthma attack. Inside the doors. Fucking hell. Oh, well. RBB uh, news. Uh, we'll leave that. Stay tuned. Stay so tuned this week. You might hear something. You might yeah. not. If you don't, just just oh well, just bad. on that. Just on their st- the RBB statement is pretty much they're consistent with what they've yep. said from the start. Yeah, they've had their. Um, I'm not going to call it a list of commands, but they've requ- requested Request. a few things. Um, that hasn't been delivered as of yet, yeah. um, but I'm sure there's uh, that it's ongoing and yeah. we hopefully get some positive news because um, we're going into some important games yeah. and uh, I think the team will get a boost from hearing the RBB being vocal again. 100%. So hopefully that's not too far away, is it? It's out of the RBB's hands if yep. the... Club does what they said, and every party comes to the party. Then we'll be back. That's it. And the RBB will having a party. Yeah, <laughs> party, party, party. It was really good because after every time we scored, you hear a roar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you realise, yeah. fuck, like the yeah. the Western Sydney fans are present. Oh, there was heaps. But just, yeah, there was heaps. The roar, bro. That that would come out yeah. after every goal. It's like we're I here. Can't, I can't believe how many secu- like cops. Oh, mate, the riot squad <laughs> was still there. Unbelievable. Like, the riot squad. They'll the go through their phones looking at who's. Ridiculous. Yeah, Instagram. I got a um, I got a message from someone that said that was at the game, and he said he gave me some inside info. Mm. Uh, and where is that from? Our good mate, where is he? Hey, John Laurinaitis. Good mate, Pete. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira, no, Sakuna, Sakuna, yes. Oh, I think I didn't. Oh, here, yeah. Sakuna, Bulls, Sakuna. Bulls were ordered to supply three yeah. times the amount of police by New South Wales police themselves. Cost yep. them forty five k to have them standing Jesus. around. And then, oh, and then they got, good, good. And on. then Keep they got it. pissed off, and the RBB didn't rock up. And at the moment, full time happened. The right squad was were in their cars leaving. Nice, moment, good, good on you. Yes. Even before I walked out. Next they, time, when next time when it happens again, bring an extra. So you know what? Extra of them, more than that. Crap to they, MacArthur because this needs to be a league wide issue yep. that it doesn't only affect our club; yep. it affects every club in the forty five k. They lost right and. I love how the police couldn't justify their presence, bro. One they bit. jumped in their cars yep. and fucked off. And they, they, they were trying to intimidate people. I'll put it that way. Yeah, yeah. they were trying, huh? Yeah. Trying to get yeah, something 100%. going. Hundred oh, percent. Not surprised. But you know what? They're laughing because they got paid double time and a half. So yeah. Yeah, but next time um, the cops go up to MacArthur and say, "Hey, this is the bill for another forty-five k," I think MacArthur's going to ask questions this time. Hundred percent. Saying should. we can't justify this bill. Hundred percent. They should. Yeah. They should. They should every club. But. Thank yeah. you to the odd 180, 190 oh, viewers yeah. tonight. Have a look, Walter. I think... Um, Good up to around there. Guys, man. please. Uh, hey, Georgie, one more thing for you, man. Is he going to finish his story, brother? Uh, he will. And 
after a Raw after WrestleMania, you're going to hear MJF's theme music. I don't see it happening. WWE, um, yeah. but it's hot now at the moment. Back. It's hot, nah, nah, he's retired. But dude. I really hope that Rhea Ripley retains. But I don't. I should retain. It, but who knows? You should have um, a wrestling Stone Cold and John Cena will be there fighting the final. Is boss. The Rock coming? You back reckon? Or not? Oh, yeah, this the is Rock is there. He's already there. Is Rock? Is rock yeah, my messages. No, no. Oh, at the moment well, he kind of is. At the moment he is. Got his hand in the business. At the moment he is, and he's a board member of the TKO. Sporting does he does he have does he have you reckon shares or stocks yes, in it? Yes, he's now on, he does. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's that would have been the deal banana. Yeah. He's on the board of TKO, which um, owns UFC and WWE. They so they control, would have given him. He pretty much controls what happens. Now. So would have given him one or two percent of shares and said come and back. Fail, it's not my, more. You know, it's, it's, oh, fuck your want a joke. Let's fuck your story, bro. You're not finishing your story, bro. Get the fuck out of here. There's your joke. Your story. Yeah, out of here, bro. The story that you're not finishing. Acknowledge that, cunt, brother. Acknowledge that, cunt, brother. Not that other bloke. You know what I'm talking about. Ah, Roman right. Reigns, brother. I'm not here what you're talking Roman about. Roman Reigns, right. bro. Oh. Legend. Uh, yeah, him, Liz. Hey, Banana he's gonna all take done. It, he's going to take it to, you know, if he's going to take it to, to SummerSlam, he's going to drop it there, bro. Banana, quick question. Yes. When it's all done and dusted, <laughs> does Roman Reigns go down as the GOAT? I'm going to tell you right no. now. The I'm, GOAT? I'm going to no. tell you right now, bro. Yeah. I've been through the whole back in the days. Yeah, the you've been era. through it all. That's I've what I'm asking you. Every, I've been through all these eras, except the olden days when there's Hulk Hogan. <laughs> And you're talking about, man. You're talking I'm talking about, about the, the Sean, Mike, days, Sean Michaels. Shawn Michaels days. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say it now. Hands down, my Roman Reigns is the greatest of all. Shit. No. no. The greatest, no. brother. Woo! The greatest, no. brother. I love the attitude. No. I love the rock. Star, right, and all bro. that. Not even what they're talking about. Brother. <laughs> the great back on the take a streak in WrestleMania. As far as I'm going to, you know, when I realize it, myself. last WrestleMania, brother. As far as Acknowledge him, brother. As far as I'm concerned, the GOAT is Ric Flair. Triple H. And will always be Ric Flair. Michaels. Triple H. No, no, no. Sorry, bro. I've I've watched all these wrestlers. It's being hectic. So he's the past Triple H? This guy is, bro. Acknowledge this guy, brother. Yeah, exactly, Ahmed, I agree. There you go. Got nothing on Undertaker. All right. Yeah, that's why he beat the Undertaker. Settle down. Um, Back in your spot, brother. Guys. That's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> please, um, please like the podcast um, because all the... Uh, what's the... Er- Do people want to pick up line, bro? Sorry. I don't... I've got nothing. Nothing? I've got no pick up lines, no jokes, no nothing. Damn, Damn. We're, definitely losing. Me, we're definitely losing this week. Hey, I dropped two jokes and we won both games. <laughs> you got a joke? Remember the... Uh, you dropped your library. What was your library one last week you dropped? Everyone yeah, the library, it. the book. Yeah, no. Nah, nah. I just didn't have time to find that. I found your other one that you said when Ninku had said... Um, I've got one in mind, but I don't think it's good for camera. It's past nine o'clock, bro. Do you reckon he's better than, like, Steve Austin, Undertaker? Who, me? No, yes. Roman Reigns. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to watch this. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I, I, if Banana says Yes. So. And oh, I, do I, 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 I don't even like Roman Reigns. I'm just you saying want, that he is. Do you want me to tell you my joke? Yeah. Yes. I, I'll, I'll say it. I don't know how you're going to feel. It. It's not bad, but, <laughs> but it's not. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Jesus Georgie. joke? Nah. Oh, did we, by no. the way, mentioning Jesus? Oh, jeez, here we go. Did we wish everyone a happy Easter? Yeah, happy Easter. people wish us happy Easter. Yeah, happy, sorry yeah, about happy that. Easter. Wait, it was a days. day of, uh, it was a glorious day. Ooh, careful, uh, for careful. a lot of our followers. So, mm. um, uh, May 5th for me. Do the, do the what Greeks that, what was that do joke? the Greeks celebrate Easter on the same day? No, we Hang on, Mal- 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 Malta's yeah. got a joke. Malta's got a joke. Uh, we'll get to that. But I need about, um, Jesus playing in a soccer team. Oh, no, I'm not no. saying that. That's not no, my no. joke. I'm honest, not saying that. Honest, honest, honest question, uh, George. I, had a, I have a few. No. I, have a, I have a few Greek mates that celebrate uh, Easter, May, yeah. May or something. Do they have a different Jeez. day? Yeah, yeah so May we, we go on the Julian calendar. But why did some of my Greek friends celebrate the other day? <laughs> I don't know. Is it, they're not meant to? Either they're not baptised in a Greek church Jeez. or they just don't. All right. There we go. wrestling to baptism now. Oh, it doesn't matter, you know. That's it's the end show, of the show. We talk show about everything. We uh, George, I want to hear your joke. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's hear it. How does a non-binary person kill someone? No idea. They slash them. Oh, no, I heard that the other day. Yeah, yeah, It's all right. Mm. Oh, oh, they slash them. They slash, they slash, slash them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. I'll get that. Yeah. Oh. Zim, them, hum, hum, hum. We've got all now. Uh, oh, all named for the mentally ill. Yeah. Only that's Roman Reigns could hardly beat Ambrose. Oh, yeah, that's why he's in that. Yeah, nah, man, man. Nah, yeah. Tom Moxley now. That's why he's in that other that other breakdown company, Mr. Mr. Um, I love AEW Bureau of Meteorology. Uh, Many of people have turned off you. Glorious, this is good. Keep going. You Turn me red off. card. Yeah, yeah. All right. What is it? Red car for yeah. what? What's the red car? Oh, for? I don't know. Roman Reigns. I guess. Nah, he's there. You'll realize one day what I'm saying. You'll realize. 
I really, I realized. I said, I used to say before, Stone Cold is the man. This, that, this brother, there's no one better than him, I said. There is no one. They can't come close to him. I don't know. What, what, After what's last year's WrestleMania, yeah. I realized, bro, this guy is the man, bro. The man. Yeah. He's the man. He's the man. And I don't even like him. <laughs> Where happened like to this him? guy? Sydney's black and white. Yeah, he's back. He's back. <laughs> Oh, here we go. All right, guys. All right, well, uh, yeah, enough up. bullshit. Hopefully, we get the win against Brisbane and we kick on three in a row and head to the derby with confidence. But let's see what the club does. Shout out. Like, subscribe, and peace. Go fuck yourself. Oh, nice. <laughs>